In this tutorial we're going to look at linear programming problems where there is more than one solution to the problem. So far we've looked at solving linear programming problems by looking at the value of the objective function at the vertices of the feasible region and we've taken the answer that has the highest value. Sometimes though there will be two vertices which are adjacent to each other that give that optimum value. If that happens, the optimum value can be found anywhere along the line joining those two vertices. So the optimum value is at an edge of the feasible region, but it can either be a vertex along an edge. And if the optimum value is found at two vertices, then there are multiple solutions along the line joining them. So what are the steps we go through when solving one of these linear programming problems? Well, the first part is exactly the same as we did before. We draw the feasible region, we find the coordinates of the vertices, and we substitute the values of those and vertices into the objective function. However, this time, we're going to find two vertices that are adjacent to each other that give a maximum or sometimes minimum value. The solution um, to the problem are any points that lie along the line that are between those two points. It's really important that when we give our working for these problems that we don't just give the equation of the line and the two endpoints, but we also show that it's possible to get a point from, um, from between those by actually finding a point for the person who's reading our problem. Okay, so here's an example. We have our constraints, x is less than 4, 5y plus 4x is greater than or equal to 20, and 2y minus x is less than or equal to 6. And this time, um, we're trying to minimize p equals y um, plus 0.8x. So the first thing we do is we draw our feasible region, and I've also labeled the points a, b, and c. We find the coordinates um, of those points, and I put them here, just like in the previous tutorial, but this time I've got the... Okay, here's an example of a problem that um, gives us multiple solutions. So we've got our constraints and we've got our um, objective function which we're trying to minimise. So the first thing we do is draw the feasible region. We then find the coordinates of the vertices, which I've labelled A, B and C. So this is the same as the previous tutorial, apart from this time I've got the coordinates of the X and the Y the right way around. We then substitute each of those X and Y values from A, B and C into our objective function. So we've got at A it's 4, at B it's 8.2 and at C it's 4. So we can see there that A certainly minimizes the function and C minimizes the function. So that means there's a minimum value of 4, but it's got to satisfy the line y plus 0.8x equals 4. And also the x value needs to be between 0.77 and 4. You could have equally said the y value needs to be between um, 0 0.8 and 3.38. It doesn't matter which one you choose. So if we want to find a point that satisfies that, we just find an x value, in this case 3, substitute into our equation and solve, and we get a y value of 1.6. I hope you found that helpful. I have added a question um, for you to do in the um, link below. Um, give it a go and see how you do. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Staying in field with Winfield.